In a future that is increasingly online or digital, how do we think about embodiedness? Theological education has abandoned the body, the sexual body and the racial body, to the forces of consumerism and capitalism. I think one another really important pieces of embodiment for theological education out of team teaching is the relationship between the two team members. You teach the way you have been taught, and you bring an awareness or an unawareness of how much power we have as educators. This idea that I must always be in the mode of instructor, never the one that is instructed. So how do we uh, subvert that by adopting this posture and this way of life as a listener? I think humility and curiosity are connected. That there's a joy to finding out something new. We think about diversity as physical, presence of diverse bodies, but it's too often devoid of what makes them unique. Many students are coming to seminary looking for identity <laughs> and belonging and trying to figure out how does this whole theology thing and ministry thing relate to me? Post-COVID, everyone wants to get back to normal. And so one of the things I want to look at with theological education is not where were we three years ago and how do we get back to that? But 10 years ago, before all of this happened, what were the patterns and practices in place that actually prevented us from doing the right things or changing the systems when we needed to do it? To ask the question, where is God moving? You should be very uncomfortable to ask that question or, or very nervous because where this God is going to be found is in dead places, bringing life out of death. And to follow this God is to participate in death always for the sake of life, for newness coming out of that death.